ain't got it. Bro, 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 five bro, we ain't got it. Don't spend no money, ain't got no clothes, ain't got no cars, ain't got no hoes. We broke, bro, bro. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, who are now listening? Check one two three. Nyato Jeka, Mazedings, Maranings, Hoti Propati. Two Brook Trumbos is back with a fresh new episode. My name is Danny, that guy, aka Danias, aka the only guy, aka your girlfriend probably pities me, aka Dan Mo. When you look inside my wallet, it's more like Dan Less. That's right, that's right. He's here with the one and only, the irrefutable, unmistakable, could be honorable, but most surely will be doctorable. Phil Chad, aka Lame Floss, the big boss, baby. A.K. Feeds up P. A.K. Filthy Phil. A.K. Sexington Lovu. A.K. Shamari. The Tangro Drink. And of course, DJ Mkarat. Wanna know why, Dan? Why? Well, things have changed, so we could still be the best, but it's, it's, it's up in the air, really. Listen! Anyway, uh, we are here with a new episode of mm. Talking Nonsense. Yes, uh, that's right. And we have brought. The queen of talking nonsense herself. Yes, yes. The, the queen bee. The the woman that uh, occupies the upper echelon of the nonsense pyramid. She's at the pinnacle. Yes. She's basically a... a, a what, what's the right word here? An empress of mm-hmm. talking nonsense. A gururess, if you will. Yes. Now, someone once told me that in Zimbabwe, a socialite is nothing more than... A rich woman with no job. So I will not call you a socialite because I believe you have several jobs. Mm, she's a social heavy. I've <laughs> 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 gone with social duck. But okay. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah. By the way. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It's Miss Donna Ray White. Yes. Yes. And obviously, since it's a woman's month, we thought, what, what better thing to do than to... Call the only woman that will return our phone calls <laughs> and come in for an interview. You are our seventeenth phone calls. Like, hello, hello, it's hello, Phil. <laughs> Phil. Hello, hello. <laughs> uh, I joke. I really do hate Women's Month as so, a concept. It's 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 very demeaning. So to, to all the things women yes, do I mean, for us every month. You, know, is you can't month demean you know? the the role Don't women I play in our lives every month. Oh, I thank in, you. In just, I in just four short weeks. Mm. You know, women are the pinnacle of society the cornerstone if you will Dan without them where would we be I know where I'd be in a scrotum <laughs> <laughs> so thank you women for everything you've done for us and we liberating us from our fleshy walls yes <laughs> <laughs> and as I said we don't want to limit everything you do just 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 to this four weeks so throughout the year we, we do our best to to highlight what women do the struggles they face and you know just push our feminist agenda. Yes, we are feminists. Phil and I, we are well, feminists. I'm what? Sure you are. Are. <laughs> feminists. <laughs> feminists. I think he's tongue tied there. Yeah. Yes. So why are you always beefing with the feminists on Twitter, Dan? What's going on there? What are you talking about? I love the feminists. They all hate you. I, I can't help that. Yeah. And you know, it's funny we speak of women's month because just a few months ago, I don't know if you know this, Donna, mm. um, a, a charity, a very notable charity approached me and were like, Phil, we're looking of having a film month. Where we could celebrate what you've done for society. And, you know, me being the humble person that I am, I was like, no, guys. No, I, I just can't do it because you can't limit my contribution to 30 days. It just doesn't make sense. I mean, look at what I've done. That's funny. Look at what a I've done. A legitimate organization. Yes, very legit. They've got a letterhead and everything. Just the letterhead. That happened to be quite yeah. serious. Website. Is, quite recently <laughs> as well because, like, China <laughs> approached me. Okay. Like, Dan, we would like to name 2016 the year of Dan. And I was like, you know what? As much as I appreciate that, I think it's it's not fair to the one billion plus Chinese people mm-hmm. who will perhaps feel that they'll never be able to live up to what Dan has accomplished. So, you know, I, I'd much prefer that we dial down my accomplishments and my achievements in life and, and really give others a chance to shine. So what are you know, these accomplishments you speak of? But wait, you say that Dan. <laughs> <but> <laughs> I feel they went ahead and, and still named it after you. Because as we now know, the, the official quote unquote name for 2015 in the Chinese calendar is the year of the goat. 
So as in the greatest of all time. I think they it no. was sort of like a, a subliminal. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of booties, that's my totem, so you know, don't get in on it. Is I'm it? the only Shana without a Kumusha that actually has her own totem, which is the Mbuzi. Mm. Say it again. <laughs> the, the what? Ndoyera Mbuzi. Ndoyera Mbuzi. Ndoyera Mbuzi. No, because like, I was tired of um people asking me, mm-hmm. and you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. so like lots of people be like, no, just um, adopt mine. And I was like, no, that's so ordinary. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I decided, seeing that I'm a Capricorn. Oh, Lord. Yes. Smartest person I in think, the room. I, okay. I think and that's a... <clears throat> Uh, that, that symbol a is a goat. It therefore made t- sense for me to get create my own mutupo being the mbuzi. Is it? Yeah. So if 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 some if someone approached you, mm-hmm. and it was like ndwera mbuzi wo. Would no, you date him? It doesn't exist. It's just mine. I'm just saying. No, let's say there's some other dude that cra- as crazy as you, also <laughs> made up his own mutupo, and he comes here no, no, and is no. like, let's not talk about things that are unrealistic. <laughs> there's no one as crazy as Donna. And he's like, yo, my mutupo is also and You're like, oh my god, no, we're related. I can't do it now. <laughs> Obviously, he's a very special class of person, and I, I'm I'm that egotistical. I can't date someone with my cra- kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. You'd like mm-hmm. be stepping in my crazy, and then like the crazy wars would just be like insane. Are, are you are you into star signs, Donna? Not all the time, eh? When they say good shit only. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like a bad weekend. <laughs> this shit, I don't believe in it anymore. All right. Uh, I I feel I have to mention this before I forget. But mm-hmm. one of our our fans, two mm-hmm. broke tumbles, Sarah Nana on Twitter. Shout out to you, girl. She, she just sent in a, just a shout out, just to say that, you know, I, I really listened to your last episode. It like it was one of the good episodes. I quite enjoyed it. It was only like, metaphysics. For real? <laughs> <laughs> you sure? <laughs> it's like, yeah, you know, I was, I was having such a great time, especially when you guys got into the whole story about poignant. <laughs> 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 I'm like, wow. Anyway. So yeah, shout out to you, girl. We appreciate your your support. Yes, and it's for people we like you. We now have four fans. Don't <laughs> <laughs> no, take that to the bank. Mm. Uh, anyway, yes. So, uh, Donna, there are several things that we would like to involve you. See, uh, I recently discovered. Hey, you done? Who's that? Yeah, uh, that's Nyari. She's cute. She is. She's, she's very difficult to deal with. Hey, I have to tell you a story about her one day. Anyway, so, <laughs> <laughs> so look now you've. You're talking me. about involving me in some things. Yes, I recently discovered that mm. Donna here is a big wig in the in the finance sector of Define this country. big wig. <laughs> oh yes, yes. I actually remember her speaking that in passing. She is with the Devere Group. The who? I think it's like somehow it's involved with Belvedere or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Some Belvedere group, <laughs> Belvedere group that does money. I, I think you're in error there. Hey, let's just correct that, Dan. Anyway, moving forward. Yes. Mm. She basically knows a lot about money mm. and how to manage it. Most mm. importantly, management. So management. the challenge for you here, girl, mm. is how can Phil and I? Oh my word! Manage a lack of said funds. <laughs> we shall delve deeper into the into these issues. You, you may not know. Listeners disclaimer, of the show. disclaimer, mm. I only work with people who actually have money. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's the thing. But I think the two of you, if you just stop offending people and mm. they start liking you more, mm-hmm. you might get a few more who donations. Maybe a few charity likes. I'm, I'm big on charity. I can start the Helpful and Dan Fund. We can look into it. We can, mm. we can start something. I like the ring of helpful and dead. <laughs> <laughs> helpful. Helpful, <laughs> helpful <laughs> dead. <laughs> It's a pun. It's a pun. It's a pun. Yes. You um, asked me here for that. <laughs> as listeners of the show are well aware, uh, we have an ongoing segment on the podcast and the website called Phil on Finance. Finance with a By page. ongoing, <laughs> someone mentioned it in passing once and it's never ever come up again. Since. I've raised, shut up. Okay, I've been busy. But my Phil on Finance segment was a hit. Okay. You know, basically what I do is, is, is I teach, uh, listeners and, uh, and readers um, we're also in a similar financial affliction as myself. How to survive and negotiate these tough economic times? Yes, these turbulent currents of economic upheaval. That's what we are dealing with here. That have enveloped us <laughs> in a financial crinkle crunkle. <laughs> in what we might call a monetary Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> 
<laughs> is this your guys' way of campaigning for lunch? <laughs> It's so, okay, I'll buy lunch. Oh, you're the best. I've missed you, girl. Uh, can you best. imagine? <laughs> best, uh, best, best. Anyway, well, um, <clears throat> oh yes, just as a side note, <clears throat> concurrent <clears throat> to Phil's ongoing series of Phil on Finance yes. is Dan on Dating. Oh, God. Yes. So, look Dan, out for are that you one. still single? Well, it's <laughs> which way? I don't understand. <laughs> is the sky blue? <laughs> so then, what advice are you giving? <laughs> What is this imaginary advice no, based on relationships much like, you much hope like you have? Cosmopolitan and other such publications <laughs> who know nothing about what they speak of. Dan is just giving advice from no point of experience, just no, literally just throwing ideas out of okay. the An outsider always has the best <laughs> perspective. Which he is has why no perspective. A woman can write ten ways to please your man and because she, she's not a man. Pun. It's, it's Women's Month. I thought it was. I thought you guys made it clear it was about us. Yes, because men don't write ten ways to please your woman. Because y'all don't know where to start. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not like you see something like in a How GQ to hold the FHM. pen? Don't be silly. Are you cow. sure? Because I cross checked the best six articles actually in GQ. Just saying. Don't ask me how I know. Um, it's quite easy to. Figure <laughs> out how you know, you've read everything. Which article? Wait, Tony Shell to solve that mystery. Meanwhile, Donna's there w- with her glasses on and a night light, a magnifying <laughs> glass, and a highlighter. Oh yes, yes, yes. This is a good one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Use peanut butter. <laughs> mm-hmm. Entry four hundred and fifty-three. <laughs> yes. On page sixty-seven of the latest GQ, they mentioned using peanut butter. Make a mental note now, to use that. Now they're looking for spelling night. errors and grammatical errors. Entry four fifty-four, <laughs> not crunchy peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> my mind is on a trip, right? <clears throat> Dan on dating. Yes, I will. The give wish you some, list, for example. Okay. You see, if you find yourself in a situation such as Phil and myself, mm-hmm. where we have uh, little in the way of financial means, mm-hmm. but so much heart and love to give, and you want to take this this lovely girl out, mm-hmm. but you know she's used to the the Harare bowlers, you know, <laughs> the ones that 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 circulate their women like they circulate their Mercedes Benzes, just you know, just like it's just it's just it's just pathetic. Girl, you can girl, carry on, yes. See, and you're trying to show this woman that mm-hmm. you know what, this is this don't worry. I won't do you like that, girl. Mostly because I don't have any bands to circulate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you out. Mm-hmm. So you sit down the day before you take her out and you look at your your budget and you've got $4.50. But does dating still really exist? Okay. You see, once again, you want to live in this very sad world <laughs> of no, booty I, calls. I'm, no, I'm just trying to understand. It's going to do with booty calls. Mm-hmm. It's got something to do with the fact that people don't know how to ask people out on dates no more. Dating is no more a thing. Um... There's, hi, I like you. Let's randomly spend time together and hope it evolves into something. And I, then. I asked someone out before. She said I, no. But I, 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 I mean, how, Danny? I'll, how? I'll, I'll walk up to a girl and I'll give her a, a card. Yeah. And it'll say, would you like to go to a movie? Yes, no, maybe. Okay. And then she just has to tick. She ticks maybe, then it's very. What type of <laughs> girls do you date? Because apparently I'm too scared to be approached in that manner. I might just tear up cards. Although I stopped that in primary school. But anyways, tell me. Wait, you're dating in primary school? <laughs> you could read in primary school? <laughs> Hell yeah. So here's the thing, right? So mm-hmm. for those of you who may not be aware, Donna has a blog. Oh mm-hmm. yes. Uh, I used to read it. You mm-hmm. used to. But then it got too expensive <laughs> to afford Kleenex in my house. <laughs> I stopped, I stopped being that deep. I stopped, I stopped being that deep, guys. (laughs) (laughs) Let me explain to you what a woman has to go through. (laughs) She's talking about all these family tragedies. My mom would would walk on my dad. Dan, is everything okay? (laughs) There's the kids. I'm like, God damn it. (laughs) Well, the thing is, the thing is, the blog was really good for releasing stuff, so. While y'all cry, I'm smiling now. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. It, was, it was cathartic. It's my word of the week. You ca- closure. Cathartic. Indeed, yes, closure, yes. Um, self-expression, yes. The ability to move on, freedom. By the way, people are just randomly walking past here and like doing double takes when they see you. So, very well done <laughs> on, the, on the face Come makeup up. that you put on. Uh, the I deception didn't. powder, <laughs> as we call it. Yes. I barely use much anyway. Bag of lies that you just <laughs> emptied on your face. <laughs> Dream let's not let's not get into that. Hey, I have my own issues with the bag of lies. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anyway, mm-hmm. so um, 
Okay, let's get serious. We, we've been waffling for like 20 minutes now. Okay, on a serious note, the reason we asked Donna to come in is... Um, for my professional opinion on nonsense? That is that is one of the reasons, yes. Okay. But it is, it is but a mere footnote oh, on I the see. addendum. Oh, no, on the agenda. It is an addendum on the agenda. Yes, an agenda, if you will. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. So, what we came here to discuss, Donna, is... Um, we see you doing your thing on these streets. You know, you are a go-to individual, a socialite, a woman who is approached and known by many an individual. You know, back in the day when we're throwing, if you're throwing a party and you need some pretty girls. Oh my gosh. Who do you go to? <laughs> Donaldo. If you, want, if you wanted promo, promotion for a certain brand. I, I don't understand though. Why would people come to me for beautiful, beautiful girls? Look, girl, we don't know what you're doing. Because <laughs> that makes judge. me sound like I'm a pimp or something. But technically, like you, I have a female you're pimp, escort you're pimping, service. You're pimping their beauty. Obviously, what they chose to do on their own time is <laughs> their own business. I'm yes, sure every madam cut. says that. <laughs> I mean, yes, you took a cut. But, I mean, you know. You Disclosure, can't I'm <laughs> not an escort or a madam. <laughs> okay, no, but on a serious note, yeah, you, you, you've, you've helped with events. You know, you've helped me out on a few occasions as well. Um, she's helped me out too. <laughs> no, Danny, let's not go there. Yes, you're, you're known in the marketing sphere as as a, someone to go to 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 bounce ideas off of and implement campaigns. Okay, yeah. Yes. And as as now a, a single mother, I've never told you, know? you how annoying it is when you do that tone of voice. <laughs> <laughs> Is it annoying, Donna? You're sounding like is those annoying, preachers annoying, that enjoy Donna. their own voice. You know. Yes. Yes. And uh, my brothers, uh, I'd like to remind you. Okay, right. <coughs> that I bought a I believe G-Bot it was jet. my time now. Okay, no, on a serious <laughs> note, yes. Yes. So we'd, we'd like to celebrate mm-hmm. women that are, are doing this in a male-dominated industry. Indeed. And, you know, hear your story. Find out how you did it. And most importantly, how we can leech off of you. So please. Define the- leech. <laughs> you know, a leech. <laughs> with, with your, filthy <laughs> your, your filthy mind. Your <laughs> Your ideas <laughs> of leech. <laughs> your filthy mind just took it all the way the wrong way. A bug uh-huh. that sucks blood. Right. What okay. A worm. What is it? It's like it's like it's a worm. A, a wormish bug. It's a, it's a worm a with a big worm, mouth, if you will. It's got a mouth with like a hundred teeth. And it all yes, and it attaches mm-hmm. and it just sucks you dry. Okay. Is what we would like to do to you, girl. <laughs> Financially. I feel very, very honored. <laughs> In a very sarcastic. Hello. Uh, you, sarcastic do you need Do you need a room? Right. <laughs> nice. Okay. No. Nice. Seriously. So okay. yes. Why don't you g- give our listeners a, a brief rundown, so that we, we can in turn, you know, profile you on the on the show. Okay. So the floor is yours, madam. I believe. So it, just as a backdrop to mm. information, having seen twenty thousand plus people in our country mm. lose their jobs in recent weeks, mm. a lot of people right now. Are looking for that inspiration. Mm. So it's a lot of pressure, Donna. So but we feel you can you, but So yes, all the people <coughs> observed. Oh. Is now you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where to start? Okay, um, basically my background is largely marketing, and I think how I became a go-to girl is because I spend a lot of time doing network marketing, which is basically You're very informing. Pretty girl. Yes, focus, Dan. Thank Sorry. you. Um, <clears throat> basically, network marketing involves a lot of information on social media, just telling people what you're doing and what you're about, and that just helped me build my profile. And um, from general, just marketing and setting up business um, business sessions for people to exchange ideas. Um, I was a go-to for that. I also did brand promotions for like Heineken, Naughty Girl, Sparkling Rosé, and Vinduk Lager. Her lips are very <coughs> full. <laughs> Right. Um, uh, beyond marketing, I, I went further and did um, finance. So I did a couple of exams. I'm working on my CFA currently. And then I got recruited by an international company that helps give financial advice on the international market, which is largely what I do. And I think the key thing about keeping your job or getting one and keeping one right now is just being valuable in your organization. I think lots of people think that jobs are just eight to fives while up time and they hate their jobs, you know. I actually do what I love. So there's a lot of passion behind what I do and I, I genuinely give it my all and it shows in my progression and in the output I, I give and that makes you valuable wherever you are. So I think that's important. I know these are hard times and people aren't enjoying the fact that their heads are on the chopping block, but I think it's, it's about making your presence known and, and showing your value in any organization or situation, which is what I do. I think largely 
I, I get to any spot and I make myself known. If I'm promoting your brand, everyone's going to associate your brand to me. And then if you make me stop promoting your brand, people are going to be like, but where's Donna? Because we thought she owned your brand. That's, I just, I, I enforce myself. Your eyes are very smoky. <laughs> I'm sure they are dead. <laughs> Beyond the glasses. Hey. Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah. so What's wrong with you, dad? Why? <laughs> I'm listening intently to what she's saying while Lola gagging. I, are you listening face. intently? Because, <laughs> you know, comes across as you. have to wipe off this drool. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes. So, uh, basically, be valuable. <laughs> now it's like a funeral in here. That was very boring. Why did you make me say serious stuff? I thought I came here to fool around. <laughs> <laughs> We can do that later. <laughs> <laughs> Not literally. Come on. Get out of the gutter. That's where we live, literally. So, anyway. <laughs> necktie, white sweat of brow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, even on a, like a serious tip, the, the distressing situations that have been happening recently of people losing their jobs. Uh, first of all, while I am secretly uh, happy to have people joining me, in the unemployment lines, uh, you secretly, know, huh? Yes. Okay. You know, in, in the long term, I mean, that's a lot of family suffering. You know. Yeah, it's 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 a, it's a depressing depressing notion for the country right now, Dad. And uh, it, it's it's worrying, really. It's, it's worrying. It's it you know it it it, it harkens to uh, a darker time in our past. This is actually there's, there's never <laughs> been a time darker. <laughs> <in our past. laughs> Ah, well, I mean, it's just, you know, it's just tricky, guys. I mean, so, uh, I'm just, I don't know what people are going to do because 20,000 people no longer earning income. That means 20,000 people no longer spending income, which means 20,000 potential customers lost. It's just, it's just, it's bad news all around. Mm. Potential increase in crime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We need to stake our claims real quick, which, you know, which blocks are ours, et cetera, et cetera. Let's make sure everything. Oh, this is quite sad. Ah. <laughs> This episode just took it's a... It's real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is what we're going to do, right? On a serious right? note, yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, and let, let's be let's be quite honest. If you have just lost your job and you have turned to two broke twimbles <laughs> for some form of service... <laughs> it's too late for you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you really... You, it's literally you really too late for you. You really placed your trust in, in the wrong <laughs> set of individuals. <laughs> Because <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> what motivation is this? <laughs> no, it's true. Anyway, look, okay, oh, yeah, on to on to less uh, less uh, depressing, depressing situations. Situation. <laughs> look, man, I mean, in this situation, if your life is tough, all you can look at is entertainment while you try and and, and uh, set your things in order. Please don't go to any prosperity gospel preachers. Please, please, please. We beg you. Uh, please. No money please. for money. Uh, <laughs> your money will not double, triple, quadruple, whatever they're promising you. It's not going to happen. It really isn't. Uh, it's just, it's just lies. Lies on lies. Anyway, um, lies what and you filth, can do. I like to call it. Lies and filth? Yes. <laughs> like filthy <filth? laughs> I'm trying to put Phil's name right. in anyway, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the midst of all this halabaloo there seems to be a lot of you know a lot of efforts to bring in uh, uh, distractions if you will uh, much like how uh, you know in, in, in the past whenever there were any really important issues to discuss uh, Michael Jackson would be sent to touch a child um, at this present moment in time, there's, you know, there's so many things about to happen. We've got the DeVito concert. We've got the Tony Braxton and Babyface concert. There's a uh, summer slam. There's a uh, Shoko festival coming up. Mm. You know, all these things. There's the agricultural just, show. Agricultural show <laughs> going on forthwith as we speak <clears throat> henceforth, uh, untoward. Mm -hmm. So, uh, really, there's a, there's a lot of things that can help you take your mind off your problems. I don't know how you'll pay to get in. <laughs> <laughs> You're just creating more problems for people right now. Don't worry. Dan on Dating is going to have an exclusive in the next... Uh, yeah, Dan, you need to start <laughs> posting, right? You lazy bastard. Next, <laughs> okay, the next few <laughs> periods of time, <laughs> not committing to any... He's not committing at all. Yeah, I'm putting one. I'm, I'm going to put together Dan on Dating. Mm -hmm. How to take your girl out somewhere nice that you have to pay to get into, but you don't have money to pay. How do you get in? Dan's got you. Are you still trying to sneak people into places, Dan? 
that's what's what I do. That's, years that's and a, years of practice. Have the they not figured you out? Have they not figured you out? <laughs> I I know what his plan is. Just escort <laughs> him out, please. Just <laughs> and anyone following behind in the distance. <laughs> Man has actually been kicked out of several. Several <laughs> established. I was about because, to say because because we know you. We know and you. DJs we know you. Actively <laughs> avoid Dan because they know. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever the phone Dan's rings Dan's that guy You mistakenly invite To your house for a barbecue And two days later He's still there It happened the one time <laughs> the one time <laughs> So he where were you sleeping And he Dan? brings <laughs> friends eh? <laughs> he's like Come to my barbecue huh? At my house <laughs> And you're like What's going on here huh? I thought this meanwhile, was my house Dan And then is his friends are like son. Are you the maid <laughs> <laughs> Dad is bugging with your son I was like Mom <laughs> F- funny story <laughs> I went to a party Where uh, People didn't actually realize th- There was someone Staying there For three days And the owner of the house Was like Um Does anyone know Who this person is <laughs> I was like Are you serious So it was So we went to go speak to I was like Hi Um What are you doing here No I came here For a party on Friday And this was Sunday night <laughs> Sounds like you Dan Are you sure It's just <laughs> not <laughs> I came here for a party On Friday The person who dropped me off Left Mm. Okay. So I didn't know how to say it to anyone. So literally for this three person, days. So yes. and how <laughs> bathing? Bathing is my she question. Was coming out of the shower. <laughs> that is how they found oh, her. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank God she, she had hygiene on lock. Lost in a towel. Um. Hey. <laughs> and where was she going? <laughs> what was, bed, what was, was she what changing bed, into? It was a pretty big house. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't, you can't, you can't give me these stories. I want a detailed report <laughs> now. Hmm? How did she get in without being noticed? Hmm? Do you remember the temperature on this day? What did she eat? Because you know, I can't, I can't do anything that doesn't she was involve food. The pantry. She, was, <laughs> she was showering. She's a she legend. Was in one of the uh, the spare bedrooms. Okay. And people sort of just because throughout the weekend, but let's were, there be were honest, Dan, you'd do that. I've never done that. Are you sure? I am sure. Mm. You're Jen. not looking straight at me right now. <laughs> We know you. <laughs> yes, we, we do. You. Yes, we, we do. You hey. We know you. He knows you. Guys, I would never do that. But anyway, you know, uh, if you do feel the need to do that, mm. Dan again will give you tips mm. on uh, Dan on dating. Although I don't know how this is dating, but still, still, I'll give you tips. On Dan how on dating. sneaking in and living in people's houses without being Which noticed. Is a kind of dating, if you think about it. No, it's not. That's just trespassing. That is true. Dan, it is a crime. Yeah, it feels like it could be dating. Yeah, in no. your crazy mm. world, we understand. And considering you were sleeping with Donna's son, <laughs> so bring up a litany of other <laughs> criminal charges. <laughs> By the way, my son says hi. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Dan said, "What up, little guy?" <laughs> like, Give from here. Um, uh, yeah. So the, those series are coming through. Mm. Uh, just a little tip, for example. Uh, if you would like to get into an establishment, say you would a like to establishment. Is it establishment? <laughs> establishment. 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 Okay. If you would like to go to the video concert, but mm. you cannot afford the ridiculously high price of whatever it is, I don't know. I think what it it's is. five bucks. That sounds no. ridiculously high to me. This is five bucks general and twenty-five. No way. <laughs> no way. Twenty-five general. Maybe. I would quit Ola. music if I was Davido <laughs> and the tickets are being sold for five. I'm like, oh, all right. Shot fired at all local artists who charge five dollars. <laughs> no. Anyway, <laughs> um, see, what you can do, mm. and this is an exclusive, mm. exclusive tip mm. coming from a pro like myself, Jenny, that guy. If you would like to get into the Davido concert. For free. Does this involve beatings? No. As is well, common with your entries. If you are, if you are careless, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> but generally, it will These it are the disclaimers not. you leave out, Danny. You know those security t shirts mm, that mm. bouncers seem to be liking to wear a lot recently? Mm, the tight ones. Yes. Get okay. yourself one. Mm-hmm. Put some towels or napkins so that you look a bit buff. Are you saying only t-shirt. skinny people don't have money? You threw me under the bus. This is payback. No. But I'm just telling you what I have to do. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> right. Once you do that, you just walk in with a straight face, giving a head nod to security. Then you walk in. It's wet twice. How many, mo- how many minutes before you get sent out? <laughs> Never got sent out. Once I got in, took off the security t-shirt. I was wearing my regular Gloria flower. Yeah, damn. Because when people, look at, you, when people look at your muscular and well-stocked frame... <laughs> 
The first thing that comes to mind is there's a bouncer. I told you, you have to stuff napkins or towels. Inside napkins the or towels. Funny enough. <laughs> funny enough. On several occasions, people always think I'm the bouncer. Yes. Oh, I've, if I just walk in with enough confidence, like even at the Kendrick Lamar show, because I yeah. my my ticket was for another section, and then there's like the VIP 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 section where like the channel o invitees and all the celebs and performers go, and you had to have a special band or you just really had to, like an all access pass. I just walked in there with my camera. What's up, man? Come retro, sir. Come retro. I just <laughs> smile. Well, don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> You see, once Look, again, once again, explain this to you. <laughs> Even though we live in a patriarchal world, you know, there are certain double standards, certain benefits to being a, a beautiful woman at points in time. Yeah. For example, flashing a smile when you're wearing your low cut top with your big boobs just popped out, <laughs> it, it will afford you some privilege. I it, see. To, to quote a, a great philosopher who's lived uh, in our generation and who's coined many uh, a poignant the word again, mm. phrase that has been used by many learned people mm. who run the world. Girls. girls. <laughs> who run this mother. <laughs> girls. <laughs> <laughs> yes. However, if we are not as blessed as you are mm. to have those then we get beat up like that are just so cute, <laughs> you know, mm. then off topic then. Well, then, I mean, you have no other option. Then why are you so creepy? Why? What do you mean? This is why he gets beat down. Even I feel like fighting a harassment suit against right now, bro. <laughs> anyway. What did you go through as a child? It's okay. It's an open space here. Crazy plus crazy equals more crazy. Let me tell you how I first met Donna. No, she's no, here trying no, to pretend like no. She's, she's what? She's a, she's I'm a, a respected a individual in society, Daddy. We were at a DJ Nida show. <laughs> Mm. Was it album launch? <laughs> it was DJ Nida's It was, DJ was it the Nida guy who wore a t-shirt as a dress? I no, that was 10 diamonds. Okay, carry on. Look, anyway. <laughs> so, I was, as I usually do at these shows, heckling badly. <laughs> oh, are you DJ Nida? Colleen! <laughs> Listen to the DJ Nida episode. Scroll oh. up. And I was, you know, hailing obscenities at the stage. <laughs> and in the process of doing so, I noticed that everyone around me was silent and looking at me with angry looks <laughs> on their faces. Except for one person. <laughs> Some prettyish looking girl sitting a row in front of me who was hailing even worse obscenities <laughs> than I was. <laughs> was flashing the stage and whatever else she was doing. Really I wasn't flashing the stage. Poor old DJ Nida who was trying to put on the PS Colin Daily. Wanted me to do that. Yes. Okay, that was the she, she was ag- on agreement. No, why does no one call <laughs> DJ Nida DJ Nida? No one. <laughs> the poor girl was trying so hard to entertain her audience. Mm. And here I was trying to disturb her. But no one <laughs> even noticed me. Because Donna here <laughs> was terrible. <laughs> Get off the stage. Blah, blah, blah. No, yeah, blah, blah, blah. no, no. That's then, not how you play so that. I was in awe. I was like, who is this person <laughs> who can be more foolish? And more <laughs> abrasive than I can be. I have spent years honing <laughs> this craft of being a, a, a an obnoxious, <laughs> and also a turd, unlike turd. turd. <laughs> and someone here is doing it naturally better than I could ever do it. So when I said, "Hello, lady, what is your name?" I would like to throw you in my kitchen, and that began this long <laughs> and happy friendship. You don't have a kitchen. <laughs> It was a, it was it's a, his imaginary one, like his dating <laughs> skills. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> right. Somebody call 112. <laughs> the pen unit is needed over here. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, Donna, so, I mean, you are you following the, the music uh, industry in Zimbabwe much or? Here and there. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. Uh, anything catching your ear or, you know, that you are really focusing on? Oh, hello, Tony Friday. How are you doing, man? Great. Yeah, good, good, good. Yes, sorry, please. Come <coughs> well, Donna. Well done, Phil. Well done. Okay. Um, I like talky vibes. Although I do feel that once you've heard one song, every other album sounds the same. Oh, I can't believe you said that. I thought I was meant to say what I felt, my honest oh, opinion. Sorry. It's just kind of a bit of a burn on... No, it's not. It's just, that's what I feel. He needs to mix it up a little, but he's an excellent artist. 
Okay, cool, 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 mm-hmm. cool. So that's that's what you're that's what you listen to right now, Toki vibes. <laughs> on your way. To why why does it look like you're you're, you're judging me I'm right judging now? You. I'm just surprised. The other day, on your day. way to your Belvedere, <laughs> yeah, Belvedere no, meetings. take that back, Danny. What? That's just cruel. It's like me talking about your lack of dating skills. Totally Ooh. uncalled for. <clears throat> right, moving along. Like Tyson in the first <laughs> round, these punches <laughs> don't stop. <laughs> She's just mad that I never asked her out. No, you yeah, couldn't. Sure. You couldn't. I'm remember, sure. anyway. I told you you're too young, mentally. Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yes. So Tokyo vibes. Right. Uh huh. That's it. Not entirely. Currently, you don't even listen to your friend Colleen. Of course, I do. DJ Nigel. Do you know that she puts music out? Do you know. Yes, that? I do. I own her albums. That's okay. why you What's meet me. What's the latest single? Okay, that's putting me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Let me watch her for now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. What about I, Ten? What's Ten's latest single? I have not been keeping up to date. Ah. It, it's because I've been so busy with work. With mm. more important things than your friends, basically. No, not at Sorry. all. Donna's this changed. is a lot of pun. Yeah, this is a lot is, of pun. She's not the same person. Because all the Donna's like, you're done, you're like, I'm just, just like, excuse me, okay, let me just check my schedule. All right, I'll speak to my assistant. I was like, oh, assistant. <laughs> 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 Time management, it's essential. It's totally essential. Mm. Hey. Okay. But, um, mm. um, from now on, now I'll be back into local music. Like, mm. the heck. Mm-hmm. Tweeting. Hashtag so into broke twimbos, so y'all know that I know. Okay. So y'all don't call me out. That's right. In That's public. Right, so. I know you've already you've started a war that you can't win. Bring me up his ass like that. <laughs> so you're saying uh, now that you're in finance, you, you are no longer doing PR and marketing. Only for those that can afford me. Aha. Uh-huh. Look. Well, you know you have to. What's the point of upgrading your skill set if you still do the cheap? What if? What if? Mm-hmm. You were to represent us. Mm-hmm. Pro bona. Pro, pro wait, pro bona. wait. Pro, pro uh, pun, 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 Dan. Your, your pro mind's bono. still Sorry, in the gutter. That's what I meant to say. Pro bono. Mm. Just depends on how, how generous I'm feeling. If I'm in the charitable spirit, then obviously I'll always help my friends. You hear that, Phil? Mm-hmm. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, okay, we are back. Um, we just got evicted from where we normally record due to circumstances beyond our control. Namely, a certain Kenneth Babyface Edmonds. Good man. I call him Kenny. Mm. I call him Kenny, yeah. I uh, mean, Kingston. Kingston, that's why I call him. Mm-hmm. I, I call him Baby. It's short for Babyface. <laughs> so you're like, hey, Comments baby. Reserved. <laughs> hey, baby, what's up? <laughs> I can't wait to see you this weekend, baby. <laughs> it's going to be a special night, baby. <laughs> Sometimes babes. So, you know, it just depends on, on the mood, you know? Yeah. yeah, it's short for baby face. And then he responds well to this? He, he's happy with, with Wait, the have you he ever to? spoken to him in this manner? Well, he calls me Danny, obviously, but he's got a bit of a lisp, so it comes out like daddy. <laughs> Danny? So it's like, hey, baby, am I seeing you this weekend? Yes, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, right. yes, we were talking about Donna's taste in music. The reason I asked you is because once upon a time you were a, a, a femme a supporter yes. of Zimbabwean music. Staunch. Staunch is the word. Staunch. Staunch. Yes. Supporter. So that's why I was asking you. That's because I spent a lot of time in the industry and with the artists. So lately I've been immersed in financial indices and indexes and you know commodities. Mm, doing mm, their mm. downturn. So, so speaking of which, um, what do you feel of of of, of the commodities market as of, as of now? I mean, well, how should we invest? If I'm looking to expand my portfolio, don't invest in commodities. In maybe in a mid to long term period. Mid to long term, then yes, obviously mm. now would be the best time to go in because it's very cheap. What's the return rate? Currently, mm. on commodities, yeah. which one in particular? Don't ask me these complicated no, questions. No, you're, you're asking a specific question requiring a specific answer. So if we're going to go into it, let's go into it. Tomatoes? <laughs> I would like to, to diversify my bonds. <laughs> offshore. Which bonds? Into, into, <laughs> for example, uh, say I want to invest in uh, 
further invest what? what? I thought this was too socio, broke to impose. Sociopolitical environment in China, for example, is it conducive if, to to you know? Investors? If you want to buy very cheap stocks, it's conducive. But if you're going to want to ride out the current instability, then it makes sense. Mm-hmm. However, it is a very good emerging market, although due to their labor crises as well as um, that's isn't it crises? It's crisis. <coughs> And um, the recent fall in their currency, it's going to be quite turbulent for a while. Yeah. I, I must say, I'm very impressed that we've just talked a whole bunch of crap that somehow <laughs> makes I sense to do it. I was just pulling out <laughs> words that I heard on CNN earlier today. So, so Ghana, it seems the Dow Jones is down 85 points over the weekend. Really, what can investors look to do to ran out this, this, this tragic shock? I mean, you just spoke of, of Beijing dropping as well. So, it looks like two major markets in the world trading sphere, uh, going through a rough patch. And as an investor, Just how two? should I feel with my money? Very insecure right now. I think we're going to go for another 2009 in the next month. Oh, no. Yeah. No, we can't. No. Definitely going to be. Um, Looking forward. Once, once the U.S. Fed actually approved the hikes in interest rates, it's going to kill the markets for a bit. So it's going to be very so turbulent. So obviously higher interest rates means a, a lesser rate of lending. So people are going to be less less able to to borrow money because of the it won't be as rates. cheap as it was currently yeah. yeah so the cost of money goes up that increases you know um risk it also increases cost of money therefore the markets are also, less conducive to circulate and use that money dan and obviously when people are using less money especially in a credit society it's going to be a problem it's going to be a problem well, exactly. Uh, it's funny know, you it's a that. crunch. Oh, yeah. It's like credit crunch. A credit crunch. Oh, I was speaking earlier. Literally. To confused with an ab crunch <laughs> or a Nestle crunch. <laughs> I was speaking earlier to, to Dow Jones' brother, uh, Indiana. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just killed it. <laughs> oh, and what did in Indiana have to say, Dad? <laughs> Well, basically, Do he said share. that we should all dump our stocks okay. immediately because it's not looking good. I mean, it's, well, it's doom and gloom see, on the horizon. Once, once you see the gold price rising, which means lots of confidence in gold, it's because there's no confidence in the market. So yes. generally. And gold prices usually on the up and up, Dan, because as we know, huh? currencies <laughs> need a backer. You know, you need to back your currency against something. And gold is the safest form of surety in the market. Is that not correct, Donna? Speculatively, yes, it is correct. Really? Yes. Yes, you see, down. I know these things. So I was, <laughs> I was speaking to some analysts earlier today, and they were like, now is actually the best time to invest long term because when the market is so unstable, prices drop. Exactly. So it's a great time to buy. Yes, it is. And buy in very stable, sure commodities. You know, your golds, your coals, your minerals, because those will never devalue that. Mm. You might want to stay away from the Chupa Chups, the <laughs> candy stocks, you know, maybe Mazoe, not the best investment right now. We hold <laughs> off on that. But yeah, you know, maybe Jordan, it's, it's 50-50. Jordan might be a good investment right now, Dan. I mean, they, they're killing it in the market. They're killing it right now. They're killing it. <laughs> what are those lollipops? Yeah. What happened to them? I don't know. Lollipops from bring Chupa Chups, Chupa Chups back. <laughs> Chupa Chups, they ran, the, they and, ran and these And chipsticks and chipsticks. Guys, do you remember Chupa Chups? There was a period they ran. They remember? were, they were they had the, the Spice ish. Girls. Yes. Then they had the, the Spider Man. Yes, yes. Um, and Batman. I, remember, like, and they'd have the logo on the gumball in the sack. Like, I, I couldn't figure out how they did that. How do they do that? I, I, I must say... Uh, you didn't eat candy as a cause, child? No, the cause oh. behind this uh, the, the sudden downturn in uh, lollipop uh, popularity in the general worldwide market. Lollip- Lollipops is still very popular. No, no, no. They're, it's, they're surprisingly not. These days, people seem to be able to, or rather, they seem to prefer a stick of gum or some chewable opposed to the lollipop. And it's, it's a very a very worrying, worrying trend that we're noticing in the market these days. So, Dan, are you saying the market prefers to chew rather than sucking? Is that what's going oh on? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are from the I, gutter. I, I blame Lil Wayne. I do. Yeah. Why aren't people sucking? I mean, really. And, you know, when you chew, you can't swallow. Why can't you swallow? <laughs> why, would, why would you want to have sticky gum in your gut? Are you not supposed to what swallow gum? What are we gum? talking about here? <laughs> We're talking about markets, Donna. Stay okay. focused. 
Okay, we're talking about investment it's quite portfolios, difficult. It's quite diversification, difficult. Um, stock trades. Button up your clothes, Donna. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, you wish I was unbuttoning, don't you? Anyways. So, yes, yes. Chupa chips. Th- that concludes our fi- finance talk <laughs> portion of the show with Phil on finance. It was an excellent one, Phil. Well yes, done. Yes, Interesting yes. voice, but well done. Yes, yes. You know, pe- people often look at me and they think, you know... What an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> but I, I like to shock them with, with my knowledge of... You I know, do that every day. Mm, I've, I've, I have a broad knowledge. It's not deep, but it's very broad. I know a lot about a little, or a little about a lot. Yeah, I know a little about the law. Yes, there's a phrase for that. Jack of all trades. Master. Of none. I'll have you know I'm a master debater. I would imagine. <laughs> yes, I debate masterfully regularly. <laughs> I would, I would oh, like what to, I heard just now. I'd like to let you know that I'm, I'm good with words. I'm a cunning linguist. Wait then. <laughs> the receipts would say otherwise. <laughs> right. Anyway, so... Um, Moving forward, I think you know we can we can safely wrap this up before it, it gets it hits the fan. You know, <laughs> must be words that you could say in mm. other circumstances. Yeah. Much like a contraceptive. Yes. Let's wrap it up. Mm. Good good words for everyone to follow. Indeed. Except me, wrap because it up. you know, I'm strap it before you tap it. I'm very inexperienced when it comes to such things. As am I. And I don't want due to, to be numerous involved. rejections. We totally understand where you're coming from. Donna. Look, I, I couldn't, okay? Th- there was someone else at the time. It was just very <laughs> awkward. I'm sorry. Just it's okay. I'm sure I mean? you have to say this. Like, look how we, we become feelings. good friends now. Look yeah. at this. That's someone else being his right hand. <laughs> Palmela Henderson. Anyway. God uh, bless her. Uh, She's yeah. strong. Uh, I think... I think I think we really should have ended this five minutes ago. <laughs> uh, uh, let's leave. Uh, thank you, Donna, for sitting with us. Uh, it, it was good to have your keen insights on these uh, topical issues. Why, thank you for having me. So basically, I invited Donna up here <laughs> so she could share her inspirational story and inspire but young you guys girls. Said it make people cry. And inspire young girls on how to overcome the odds and become a, a success. And we basically went on waffling about nothing for 50 minutes. So it's basically like the metaphysics episode part two. But mine's fun because I'm a girl and I smile. That's sexism. <laughs> Damn sexist. It's a, real, it's a reality. In this so, world. okay, Donna, while, yeah. we, while we close the episode, why don't you share with our listeners maybe a, a quick anecdote or how they can get hold of you or what services you offer to as, as, a, as a business lady you know, to help other potential clients or people looking for inspiration. After, after this um, this recording, I'm not too sure people know exactly what I do. That's the whole, <laughs> that's the whole point of me telling you to I'm tell af- them. I'm afraid, I'm afraid to let people know how to contact me because oh <laughs> they will contact me for some of the weirdest reasons. But yes, I am available on all social network platforms. Don Ray White, also known as Slim Dons. That's my Twitter handle, Why? Instagram. Because I was once slim. And Don's, uh, yeah, so it worked. Donny, Donaldo. No. Oh, Don's from Donna. Yes. That, that's you moron. <laughs> yeah, so Slim Don's. That's who I am. And what do you do? I am a professional marketer, financial advisor, and an aspiring writer. Mm. Mm. That's nice. That's nice. I yeah. also have a blog called The Making of a Diamond. When is your album coming out? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't put artist there. Eh? Why? 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 What an idiot! There will be a book when I turn forty. However, so it's coming next year, basically. Next two years. Next year. Mm-hmm. Two years? Yeah, next you year. know, you old buffoons cannot <laughs> do this to me. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, well, thank you, thank you, Donna. Thank you for coming through. Look, uh, I mean, Donna does have a very, a very great story. So read her blog, Making mm, of a does. Diamond. Good have job. have a Kleenex. Make, <laughs> have Kleenex nearby because it yeah, gets yeah, very, it gets painful, very it, emotional. It, it painful. We all exaggerate. Mm. Uh, Donna, <laughs> uh, Donna. Uh, look, let me put mm. it this way: yeah. the sole reason why Kleenex is still in business <laughs> because I was reading your blog. <laughs> Yes, then the only reason so you cries. need toilet paper by your bedside <laughs> is because you were crying. This is the because story he's telling everyone. 
So she was covering both he's, ends. No, he's talking about the friend zoning incident publicly. Mm. That's probably the real thing that okay. made him cry. With Dan, you need to be a little more specific when you refer to friend zone incidents. <laughs> because they are numerous. <laughs> I'm sure it's his life story. You should start a, a blog yeah. about the friend zone. The making of rejection. <laughs> 99 ways to get friend zoned by Dan. That's actually a good idea. It is, eh? It's a, it's a good I idea. I want royalties. <laughs> <laughs> there won't be much, <laughs> but I'm sure you'll be entitled to them. We'll be proud of the idea. Mm. How many girls have friends on you, Dan? Let's, in the last hour. You guys done? Hey, still, still going on? <laughs> <laughs> still we're going we're on right trying now, right? to end. <laughs> <laughs> Look, why are we talking about the darkest times <laughs> in my life right now? What's wrong? Is there light in your life? <laughs> <laughs> look on that note please look for two broke trimbles twitter facebook soundcloud uh, itunes uh, youtube tune in any rss feed reader just google us if you like uh, we are what 40 something episodes in uh, oh, we are 50 have close to 50 we should have a party for the 50th we'll have a party for 100. 100. okay fine i was gonna sponsor the 50th party okay, but since you snubbed it it's okay we have a, we have a no 100 mm. we'll wait for 100 i actually think this is our 50th episode <laughs> now that you mention it <laughs> what a coincidence <laughs> you did promise lunch as well so a- anyway uh yeah look yes, for us I and, did. Uh, and uh, it's great we're gonna we're gonna find some uh hot banging local music to just throw in at the end of this episode can't think of one right now but i'm sure but do, do, cha, cha. not that one and uh, yeah <laughs> on, on that note uh this has been another we've given you two episodes in a row of uh, nonsense really but uh thank it's you very what much. we look forward to yes Yes, yes. Indeed. Anyway, goodbye. We out. Aha! We broke, we broke, we broke, we broke.